Ryan Thompson here with Lifetime Radon Solutions. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. What I wanted to talk about today was a little bit about some of the fans that we have um, in our arsenal to help mitigate your home and just kind of go through what our process is. Um, a lot of our customers give us a call and we just get an estimate to them right over the phone um, and via email. And so we ask a certain amount of questions that we've just developed over um, the last 23 years in business to really help determine you know, what's gonna be the best system, what's gonna be the best fan, and um, how we're going to effectively mitigate uh, the radon out of the structure. And so uh, with that being said, I'll talk a little bit about the different fans that we mainly use. The four fans that you see here are gonna be the four main fans that we use um, on a probably 90 to 95% of the homes that we work on. The first fan here is what's known as the AMG Festa Maverick. Um, we absolutely love these fans, mainly because um, the motors are made in Germany by EBM Pabst. So the German engineering um, truly is flawless with these. Uh, what you'll find with a lot of other manufacturers is um, a, di a product with cheaper materials, cheaper parts, um, less expensive engineering, things like that. These truly are contractor grade, and that's why we love them. You can't buy them at Menards, you can't buy them at Lowe's. You can only get these if you are a certified radon mitigator. So with the AMG Maverick here, this is gonna be our go-to fan. For the average homeowner that we talk to on the phone that has a sump crock and a drain tile system and their home footprint of their home is around you know 1,500 to 2,000 square feet or below, this fan is gonna be great. Um, it's probably a moderate volume fan if you wanna call it that. Um, but it is designed to move air through a drain tile system um, or a more porous subslab. This fan is not going to be good if you have, say, like a, a, an older farmhouse with clay um, and tougher material underneath the, the subslab that's going to preclude you from moving a lot of air volume. When your home has um, is a, a newer construction and uh, it's got, you know, gravel that's porous that can move air through it, um, this fan will be great. Or if it has that drain tile, as I mentioned, going around the perimeter of the inside structure, it's going to be able to move air very effectively through that. Um, the second fan that I want to talk about is right next to it here. That is going to be your legend fan. Now, let's say I'm talking to a homeowner on the phone and they tell me, hey, Brian, my radon levels are super high. You know, they came back north of 20 picocuries. Um, that isn't a problem. We mitigate homes like that all the time. In fact, last week, uh, we just mitigated a home that was 123 pico curies per liter. So it isn't unusual for us to see homes over in the high teens or over 20 uh, in this area of Wisconsin where we're located. But once we start creeping up to that area and we know that the homeowner has, again, a, a porous subslab material, whether that's a gravel um, or a larger aggregate under there, or they have a drain tile system, um, this is gonna be the fan that we're gonna wanna use. This is gonna help move about twice the air volume of this fan. Um, so if you have a bigger footprint, or just the radon levels are super high, or maybe uh, the home is sitting on, you know, rather than four inches of gravel, or six inches of gravel, it's sitting on eight, 10, or 12 inches of gravel. There's a lot more air under that house, so you need a higher CFM fan to be able to remove that and this is gonna be a really good go-to option for it. It's also great for small uh, commercial projects. So we use it for you know, your dental offices, veterinary clinics, small office buildings, four family, even eight family apartments I've used them on, um, and they work great uh, in those footprints. And then um, kind of moving on to um, our next fan here, we talked a little bit about you know, the Maverick and the, the Legend not really being a good choice for those really tough um, farmhouses that have like a clay or um, a real wet sand underneath there, you, it's really tough to pull air through that. So what we wanna do is dig a really nice big suction pit, which means we're gonna wanna move, uh, remove a lot of, uh, of the subslab material, a lot of the soil from beneath the, uh, the slab, and we're gonna wanna use the AMG Eagle. This fan is phenomenal. Um, it's going, to do a little bit, it has a little bit of a different concept to it than these other fans. We talked a little bit about air volume and CFM. This fan isn't designed to move a lot of cubic feet per minute, 
what it's designed to do is pull a higher negative pressure. So when you have um, a real tough subslab, you know, something that's a real tight soil, what this is going to do is create a negative pressure to really draw those soil gases out of that material um, as opposed to moving a lot of air. So since it's working so hard to draw it out, there isn't a ton of air to move. And so um, that's what this fan is designed for. And you can really see the difference in the duct size. If I kind of turn it there, this is like a three inch duct versus that Legend fan, which is designed to move a lot more air, has a six inch duct. And then that standard AMG Maverick fan is gonna have a four inch duct there. Um, so traditionally in the radon industry, you really had one or the other. You either had a high volume or a fan that was designed to move air volume. We talked about cubic feet per minute you know, a fan that was designed to move a lot more of that with a lower pressure, or you had a high pressure fan. It was either one or the other. The cool thing is Festa Radon Technologies uh, recently came out with a different fan called the Eagle Extreme, which we like to think is really the best of both worlds. So if you have a larger footprint home, or again, a home that has a really tight soil under it, but um, the radon levels are super high, this Eagle Extreme is going to be phenomenal because not only does it pull a really high pressure, but it also um, moves a ton of air volume. So it really is truly the best of both worlds in terms of being able to um, move air um, as well as um, work on those tough sub-slab sub materials that uh, you know we do find here in Wisconsin in the clay regions that kind of surround greater Milwaukee. Um, we like to use this fan uh, for commercial as well. Um, we use this fan on a number of different schools, um, all different types of situations. Um, it performs really, really well. And a lot of our homeowners, you know, just choose it as an upgrade to the Eagle um, because it's going to help get those radon levels as low as possible. So again, just kind of going through the Maverick is going to be our standard fan. All of our systems um, that we quote over the phone, they just are generally quoted with the Maverick. Again, if you have a bigger house, higher rate on levels, we may recommend you going to you know, a four inch pipe diameter to move more airflow, as well as an AMG Eagle here, or excuse me, an AMG Legend. And then if you've got those tight soils, we're gonna wanna recommend um, an Eagle. And that's kind of our standard fan that we go to for any tight soil um, underneath the home. And if we've got a real complicated job where it's a tight soil, we're having a tough time getting those levels down, um, the Eagle Extreme is kind of our go-to fan. So I hope this has been informative. Um, I know some of this stuff is a little more high level, but what we found is a lot of our customers just want to know the difference between these fans. And so we wanted to put this together just to give you an idea that, you know, not only do we have um, kind of your main option, but we have a whole arsenal here to attack whatever problem you have, whether your home, you know, is new construction or built in 1848. Um, we've mitigated it. We've always gotten the levels down. Um, thankfully, there hasn't been a home that uh, in you know more than 20,000 that we've mitigated, there hasn't been a home that we weren't able to figure out. So if you guys have any questions or need anything, do not hesitate to reach out. Um, you can call me or anybody in the office um, at Lifetime Radon Solutions. Our phone number is 262-955-5701. Again, that's 262-955-5701 or check us out at lifetimeradon.com. Um, we're happy to help you guys out. Thank you so much and have a great day.